So I figured I'd show you guys a little bit about how I'm doing the wallpaper removal because my wife and I decided we're going to do uh, the pantry here and uh, take the wallpaper off and get it ready to be uh, repaired with the cracks that are right there and then prime it and uh, let it sit until she decides what she wants to do with it. But um, there's three or four layers of wallpaper on here, as you can see. Um, oh, and then, then it's painted on top of that. Uh, so the, the spray that I have right there, um, that's a diff, you know, that, that wallpaper removal stuff. Um, it doesn't really penetrate through the paint so well. So I try to score a couple lines in it with my little scratching knife here. Let me see. Get up on the ladder. <clears throat> so I'll score it a little bit like this in a few random spots. And then I'll spray it there and then it should start to slowly come off as you can see. Um, I have to take off basically a layer at a time uh, because Taking it all off at once just doesn't seem to work. Uh, we've tried. <laughs> it's not easy, but this house is, you know, over 150 years old and, um, yeah, it's just got so much wallpaper on it. But, um, anyways, as you can kind of see, uh, <clears throat> we got the, the painted blue stuff and then there's some lined sort of stuff there this stuff isn't so bad what's a big pain in the butt are the roses those that wallpaper man that stuff is on there like they put that on there with like i don't know what you really have to soak that stuff down to get it off but um it's slowly coming off and it's coming off in little chunks like this right here if i can get out of the shadow yeah right here all this yumminess but um yeah that's what i've been doing part of it um i'll show you guys more of what we've done uh throughout well since the last time you guys saw the video um because i'm i decided it's it's uh hard for me to make a video and work at the same time uh and to throw money into a fancy camera and a stand or whatever and it's it just doesn't make sense to me um for what i'm doing this this whole house is literally out of pocket like i didn't get a loan i'm not racking up a ton of credit card crap um i'm literally doing this out of what we can spare through uh you know week to week paycheck stuff uh this is going on the third year right now and uh, I'm slowly getting there. I did score a pretty major victory here recently with uh, um, fighting a raccoon out of here. So that was pretty cool. We got him out and trapped him and then we, we set the little dude free after we patched up the hole that we knew he was going in and out of. And uh, he's tried to get back in a couple times, but he can't. And oh, check this out. My wife found this. This little dude wacky here. Look at him. I don't know if it'll focus in on that little feller. Yeah. It's like a little lead figurine. Isn't that cute? It's a bear on a scooter. Uh, found it in the pantry. But, um, anyways, uh, I'll show you guys more in a little bit. All right. Okay. So, I've been in here scraping for quite some time. I, I got this mini off. All this, this business here, that's some terrible crap. Anyways, so that's what's left. I got it off all the way around to this point now. But the ceiling, I think, is just, I think I'm going to tear it down. Like, I'm actually pretty pissed. Uh, I don't know what that, that wallpaper is on there with if it's on there with dingo uh rubber cement I, I don't know but it is not coming off very well and those little pieces up there that are left on the wall in the corner and all that that's on there like crazy too 
But yeah, I think I'm gonna tear that ceiling down because I don't like it anymore. And I can do that, so yeah. Anyway, um, oh, so a couple of people have actually asked about this, uh, this thing. This is a built-in uh, China hutch or something. I don't know. It's all filthy right now. But um, anyways, uh, some people wanted a closer look at it. So I'll do that right now. You can see the, the um, lacquer on it. It's like, I don't know, uh, patinaed maybe? Or just filthy or cracked or something. I think it's pretty cool. Um, the roughness of it. It's really neat. It's still shiny. But, um, yeah, these things slide actually, so let's see. There. See, it slides, and there's also like a little plate rail inside here that we noticed today, so you can put your plates back there and it'll lean. Um, and and these, these doors are thick. I mean, look at that. That's like, geez, like an inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and three eighths or something, or yeah, I mean, look at these shelves too. That's, that's a haunting shelf. But uh, yeah, here's a little bit of a closer look at what is all in this room. This is the pantry. Oh, you want to see something neat? Check this out. Let me see. Uh, I'll show you something cool. If I find it. Here. Here it is. March 1st, 1933. Yeah. But you know, it's a it's a really neat little room. Um, my wife and I have a a little debate on its function, but whatever, no biggie. Um, she wants to, uh, of course, do pretty things in there. Which whatever. I mean, yeah, whatever. But I was like, well, it's a pantry, so I mean, you should probably put food in here. And she's like, you wouldn't put triscuits and stovetop stuffing on top of this stuff <laughs> on top of those shelves. She may be right. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what she's going to put in here, but it's hers to do whatever she wants with. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. So I'm going to finish up that little bit right there. And uh, then I'll take you for a quick tour. What I've been doing, I'll move this later. But um, maybe I can show you a couple of the little techniques that I do. So when when things are real rough, I do something like this. If it's real hard to come off, I wobble it like that to get it to come off. This is super soaked down right now, so this this layer is going to come off easy. But when it gets hard, I give it a little wobble, and it seems to get through it. Decent enough. Yeah, look, look. See, it's wet behind right there, but dry right there. So, of course, that spot can be rough to get off. I just don't know. I don't know what's, uh, what they used to put this on here with. Like, the other rooms weren't this bad. Maybe in a couple spots, but this room is nuts. Anyway, um, I can't hold the camera, I guess, and do this, and it's probably pretty boring, and I'm shaking it or something. I'll, uh, I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay. I'm going to pick this broom up. Um, so the room is done as far as removing the wallpaper from the walls. I don't know why that's there. That was underneath the wallpaper with, like, some sort of cloth over it. I don't know, it's an old newspaper, but I couldn't pick out a date on it. But, um, anyways, uh, yeah, so, there's that. You might be wondering what's next. So, um, now I will go through and I will pick out, like, say these cracks, and I'll gouge them out. I'll fill them in with more plaster and, uh, get them all fixed. Make sure the wall is secure. There's some spots like right here that this is probably going to be a big hole. Um, I cut this. I bet money it's going to come out. 
you know, there to, man, it might go all the way across. This will probably go all the way from there up and then back down. Um, but whatever, I mean, that's what you gotta do. And then after that, I will do a light skim over everything and then I'll do a light sand and then this room will be ready to prime. Uh, I have to, of course, fix the cracks in the corners. The normal business and uh, patch that hole. Not a big deal. But um, let me show you what we have done. Um, which isn't a whole lot, I suppose. Um, we gutted this room right here. This is going to be the laundry room. Uh, because there, this room had some major issues with it. Um, the, the plaster back there, as you can see that big black line, um, that was a huge crack and the plaster was just going to come falling down and the ceiling, it just needed to all come down. We did find out that, um, it appears and I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it appears that this whole thing right here where you see this, um, this, this is called a brown coat, I believe. Um, this was added to float out the wall. We think that there was a big door there um, before this was a bathroom over here. But then they added bathroom, so of course it needed a door. Um, let's see what else. Oh, and some of you asked about the bathroom, so yeah, this is, this is the bathroom. Um, look at the ceiling, that's super awesome. All that's gotta be dealt with. Um, this wall here is coming out. We're gonna be turning this um, into a, I guess just a, just a bathroom with no bathtub, possibly. Possibly, I don't know, whatever she says. Um, anyways, uh, then here in the parlor, we are, going to replace the ceiling. I tore the ceiling down. Um, I think I might have made a video about that before, but I don't know if I ever posted it or not. Um, and then we cleaned up and then we have all this stuff here, which is going to the dump. Um, and what else? This room here, if I can get to the light, this, uh, the entryway, this is going to be, it's already skim coated. Um, I just need to do a sand. Then, um, after I sand it, I am going to, uh, prime it, of course. Uh, we, we did some wallpaper removal up the steps, uh, over this last week, just to have it done. Um, and we'll continue going up that wall at some point in time, pretty soon. That sucks though, because that's a big deal. Um, in here, the living room. Um, of course, you guys know that I have already done this one and it's sanded and primed and all that business. But um, I did rough in the electric down here. Uh, that one I messed up on. So, yep, fixed it though. So I just gotta do a little patch here. Um, I'm adding uh, four outlets in here and um, oh someone asked about this uh, this mantle again so here's the mantle um, sorry about everything being in the way all the time I found this lighter it's pretty cool I didn't find it you know it's not like old or anything but I still found it but yep and now let's go upstairs. Oh, I fixed the light at the top of this steps too. That hasn't been on in 19 years. Um, here's my little girl's room, or it's gonna be. Uh, that's why I've been going up in the attic. I've been roughing an electric up here too. My wife and I both were doing it this week. I took this whole week off work. So, we could get electric up here. There's never been electric up here, except for that light and one in my little pumpkin's room. But uh, this is gonna be our room. So we have one, two, three, four, 
five, and there's gonna be a ceiling fan up here too. Uh, let's see, let me go through here. Sorry, it's all dark. There's no electric up here, like I told you. This is my boys' room. Um, I rough the electric in up here also. That one I can't get to. That's, that's a pain in the butt. There's gonna be, oh, there's gonna be a ceiling fan in every room uh, when we're done because the ceilings are so high. They're nine foot, let's see. They're, they're nine foot eight up here and 10 foot eight downstairs. This is gonna be a bathroom. I've not done anything in here because my wife doesn't know what she wants to do yet, so whatever. This is gonna be a guest room slash whatever game room possibly for me because I play video games still because I'm awesome. And that's about it so far. We'll go down these steps. This is the servant steps or butler steps you guys have said. Okay. Uh, sorry about the shakiness.